I challenge you to try to spend as many moments as you can in a mindset of discovery instead of a mindset of fear. John Sweeney is the CEO of the nation's oldest satirical comedy theater called Brave New Workshop. He's a corporate trainer, an improviser, and an author. He's got the ability to deliver learning and expertise in a truly unforgettable way. How many moments were we able to stay in that mindset of discovery where new ideas were absorbed, where different points of view were embraced, where we stretched ourselves, where we did the things that really allow us to start our journey to discovery? Corporate messaging, corporate branding, corporate systems, corporate processes, and then what? And that then what is behavior. Be in a mindset that allows you to absorb every piece of information, make every connection, and take as much as you can back to your workplace. If someone comes forth as a teammate with their idea, and I say yes and, it is impossible for me to be an argument. It is impossible for me to critique their idea. I'm going to speak to you about the art form of improvisation, not with the goal of teaching any of you how to be funny or even how to perform this art form, but with the goal of looking at this art form and seeing what skills and behaviors and cultural norms we can take from the art form so when we get back to work, we can behave differently. Vanilla. One. One. Strawberry. Two. Two. Chocolate. Three. Three. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> As you're gathering information and listening, don't just listen for the content, but start the brain's process to bridge that content to how you can use it. Listen with a purpose. Because my leader doesn't lead by example and create a culture that feels safe for us to take risks. Even if that's just a perception, folks, even if it's just an excuse, it doesn't matter. That's how much impact your behavior can have on the people that you lead. Here's a secret about improvisation. We're always listening to our audience and our scene partners in a way that we can use to build something. We think that if you create a culture that engages human beings, you don't have to demand their participation. How do we continue to stay innovative in an economy that has us firing people? How do we stay innovative in an economy that has us reducing our big idea and putting most of our efforts on refinement? Because you know what's going to happen when you get back? You're going to go back to your jobs. Execute, 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 execute. I ask you to please make a commitment to practice the behaviors, not the systems, not the process, not the definition, the behaviors how you will speak to the next person in your life, how you will word the next email, how you will lead the next conference call. Improvisers don't look at change as an obstacle, we look at it as fuel. We know that the next great idea comes just on the other side of change. So we're constantly asking ourselves, what can we do to incite change? We absolutely believe that culture trumps technology. Culture trumps process. Culture trumps talent. Because the culture that we work in makes us feel comfortable or uncomfortable enough to give all of ourselves to work. Okay, And when we can get the most out of the people we lead, holy cats is that an efficient thing.